Welcome to Galveston, Texas, a beautiful beach town right on the Gulf of Mexico. Known for its charming beach and historic architecture, we've only got 24 hours to see it all, so we're gonna pack in as much as we can. We spent the last couple days exploring Houston and we have a little over a day and a half here in Galveston. We just checked into our beautiful accommodation for the next couple nights. We are staying at the Oleander Hotel, which is just a few minutes walk from the downtown. Everything closes pretty early here, so we're just going to grab a quick bite to eat, maybe some drinks, and tomorrow will really be our full day to explore. We were starving, so we decided to get Tex-Mex for dinner. We are at Taquillo's, which we hear is the best spot in town. We started off with this big bowl of chips. We already ate like half of them. These salsas are delicious. Here we have a regular salsa, which came out really hot, which was nice, and a spinach artichoke dip, which is just to die for. I am so excited for the ceviche. Here we have a tuna ceviche. This one is a shrimp and fish ceviche, and this is a shrimp and crab cocktail ceviche. Oh my goodness, I am stuffed. Tequilos was amazing. We had ceviche and some fajitas. Now we're just gonna walk the strand and then head back to our hotel for the night. Even though it was only 8 o'clock, almost everything on the Strand was closed and the bars were pretty quiet, so we grabbed a quick drink and called it an early night. Today is our only full day here in Galveston, so we really want to make it count. But first, we are off to a local spot for breakfast. We're making our way to breakfast now, and one thing that is immediately apparent in Galveston is just how stunning the architecture is. There are all of these beautiful old Victorian homes that line almost every single street in the city with different colors, and it is just absolutely beautiful. Breakfast time. Thank you. It is so cute in here. I love the sunflower theme. And we also noticed they have chilies like they did in New Mexico. What is with the portions here? Literally, this was what, $13? And in the city, we would have got one fourth of this yogurt bowl. I think we might have overordered. Let's get a nice bite with a lot of yogurt, a lot of granola some fruit. Okay. And the granola tastes so fresh. Amazing. That is fully loaded yogurt. The barbacoa omelet. It apparently has pulled pork in it. Wow. That is good. Well, breakfast was amazing. I am so full. The portions here are huge and I just can't help myself, um, but it was delicious. Now we are heading to Tora Mansion. Welcome to Bishop's Palace, named for Bishop Byrne who lived here. But before he took up residence, it was home to one of Galveston's most prominent families, the Greshams, who broke ground on the site in 1887. We headed to the waterfront for our next stop, the Offshore Drilling Rig Museum. 
If there was gonna be an oil rig museum anywhere, it's probably no surprise that it's here in Galveston. Galveston is home to the second largest oil refinery in the country, with the largest being only 70 miles away. There are also thousands of oil rigs off the coast of Texas, and one of them was this one, Ocean Star, which operated from 1969 to 1984. I studied engineering in school, and learning how things work is fascinating to me. This museum is probably not for everyone, but I enjoyed reading about the scuba equipment and the safety mechanisms on the rigs. One thing to keep in mind is that everything is coming from the perspective of the oil industry, so there are some obvious biases and omissions. The Deepwater Horizon oil spill, the worst environmental disaster in US history. There is a small section on the environmental impacts, but that could definitely be improved. Galveston is an island after all, and you can't come to an island without getting onto the water. So our next activity is going to be a dolphin and harbor cruise. Well, that was awesome. We saw so many dolphins spinning around and jumping. It was so cute. We really stayed in the harbor the whole time. We didn't get too far. He gave us a brief history about um, the oil rig and the museum and the battleship, some of the restaurants. So a little bit of guidedness in terms of the history and what's around, but not too much. Now that everything was open, we went back to explore the Strand. Here you can find loads of shops and restaurants, including Le King's, a confectionery and ice cream parlor that makes many of its tasty treats in-house. We tried their cinnamon ice cream, which was amazing. So we've been seeing these turtles all around Galveston, and it turns out it's part of a community art project to protect endangered sea turtles on the Texas coast. How cute, and they all have these nice little paintings on the back, I just love it. So we had a great time walking around the Strand now we're gonna head to the beach because of course we have to visit that while we're staying here. Pleasure Pier and Moody Gardens, which is a little bit of a drive from the Oleander. So we're gonna pick up our car and head that direction. Next, we headed to the historic Galveston Pleasure Pier. It's unfortunately only open on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, but still worth checking out. And compared to the Jersey Shore boardwalks we're used to, it looks so nice. There is an entrance fee for everyone, regardless of whether you're riding the rides, but this has to be the cleanest boardwalk amusement park I've ever seen. Shark made out of trash. It's got an elephant in there, a dolphin a toothbrush on a shoe for a tongue. If we had one more day in Galveston, one place we definitely would have checked out is this. This is Moody Gardens, home to the famous three pyramids of Galveston. There's an aquarium pyramid, a rainforest pyramid, and the Discovery Science Pyramid. We got here too late to actually go into any of the pyramids, but we're just walking around the grounds and seeing what we can find. Hello. That's so weird. You should do it. Hello. Hello.
We ended our night with dinner at the spot which is five restaurants in one, so there really is something for everyone. It's located right across the street from the beach, but the fog rolled in so we didn't have much of a view. After filling up on some great food and drinks, we headed back for the night. Good morning. Wow, this trip went so quick. The spot really lived up to its name last night. It's such an awesome restaurant with a great location. Unfortunately, the weather didn't quite cooperate for us, but we still really enjoyed it. Today, we have a little bit of time before we have to head to the airport. So we're gonna get breakfast at the oldest and first desegregated drugstore in Texas. The Juneteenth holiday that we now celebrate all across America can actually trace its roots back here to Galveston. On June 19, 1865, Union Army General Gordon Granger arrived here in Galveston to formally inform the enslaved African American people of Texas that they were free. We had a great last meal at Star Drug Store, and you know we had to try one of their famous milkshakes. Everything was delicious. Our entire experience in Galveston has really felt like a step back in time. Well, we had a great time exploring Galveston. We really hope you enjoyed following along. If you did, be sure to give us a like, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing, and we will see you next time.